G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we're going to make this really cool hat. This hat is available in all different sizes. I will put all the links that you need in the description box. You can make it in one colour or as you can see, a lot of colours. It looks great anyway. These hats are different to my granny square hat. This one is worked in the round. So spin her around. These hats are worked in the round. And we can achieve different sizes by using different size yarn. This one is double knit or eight ply and the rainbow one that you saw was worsted weight which is also equivalent to Aran or a 10 ply yarn. There is also a free written pattern for this video. The links that you need are in the description box. The rainbow version was using Red Heart Super Saver and redheart.com is a great place to get free patterns and also buy lots of that pretty coloured yarn. Check out redheart.com for great patterns for your next project. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies I will be using a yarn needle with a large eye, a pair of scissors, stitch marker, this is optional, you could use just a spare piece of yarn and I'm just going to use that to keep track of the rounds on my edging of my hat. A yarn needle, a yarn needle, this is a crochet hook, <laughs> a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I'm using a 5mm crochet hook but you could use a 5.5 if that is what you'd normally use. Because we are going to be using Red Heart Super Saver. This is a worsted weight yarn which is equivalent to a Aran weight in the UK and also a 10 ply in Australia and New Zealand. And we have a 5.5 recommended for this yarn, but like I said, I will be using a, a 5mm, and that's also a H, and the 5.5 is an I size crochet hook. So it's a medium worsted weight yarn, which is a number 4. And for the colours, I will be using a range of colours. I have bright yellow. Pumpkin, Shocking Pink, Hot Red, Medium Purple, Turqua and Spring Green. And you would have seen all the colours at the beginning of the video on the hat. So I'm going to start with my little rainbow. And I will be starting with yellow. We can use a magic ring or we can chain four and join. And I like to use a magic ring for this hat because we have quite a few stitches to go in the middle. So I like to just chain three. And we're going to work two double crochet into the middle. I'm going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet. We're going to chain one. Then we're going to work three double crochet into the middle. And I'll refer to this as a shell so that I don't have to keep saying three double crochet. We're going to chain one and then work a shell into the center of the ring. Chain one. We want to keep going until we have five shells all together. So our chain three and our two double crochet is our beginning shell. So that's one, two, three. And we need five all together. And they're always separated with a chain one. So I think. This should be my last one. That's one, two, three, four, and five. I'm just going to adjust the camera. It seems to be too high. That's better. I kept dropping off the bottom of the screen. So we're going to join with a slip stitch and each round is worked the same way. So we're grabbing the front loop and then, oops, then also the back one. And 
and then we're going to do a slip stitch to join so we can pull the tail to close up the center and we can also adjust that again when we come to the end of the hat and sew in our ends and I'm going to cut to change color each round so what I need to do is finish off here but if you would like to continue with the same color you will be slip stitching into the top of each double crochet so if you want to continue with the same color slip stitch across and also into the chain one space and then you continue with the pattern but I will be changing color so I will just pull out those slip stitches cut off my yarn pull through so I'll grab my next color which is my pumpkin I love these colors I'm using bit of a fan of the rainbow so what we're going to do is join our color into the chain one space and I just like to join in the next space around so not that same one because when we go to sewing our ends we want to not be sewing them all into the same spot so pull through a new color and we want to do our beginning shell so it's chain three and work two double crochet and into each chain one space around we are going to work an increase so an increase is three stitches chain one and into the very same space we're going to work three more stitches into the next chain one space we're going to work an increase so it's three double crochet or a shell you could call it a shell chain one and another shell which is three stitches in the same space so we've got three chain one three we're going to repeat this in every chain one space around so pause the video and I'll meet you when we have done all of our stitches and I'll meet you when we are ready to join when we're up to the end it is time to join with a slip stitch and we will join this same way on every round apart from the edging we join into the top of the chain three so it's the third chain stitch that we did one two three join with a slip stitch if you're not changing color slip stitch in the next two double crochet and into the chain space if you're changing then we can cut our yarn and we can join in our new color so it's the hot red and we're going to join into the chain one space of the previous increase so we're going to do our beginning shell and we're going to work chain three and then work two double crochet into the next space so this is our chain one space from the previous increase just here is a space so we're going to work into that space there and we're going to do an increase into the chain one space we're going to work three double crochet I can actually see a bunch of yarn I'll show you what I can see we're going to do three stitches in that space 
watch over there as I'm crocheting I can see this getting closer to me into the next space we're going to work an increase so it's It's like this big blob of yarn is creeping up on me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought that was really funny. I don't know why. Maybe it was funny, maybe it really wasn't. So we're going to do an increase. So it's chain one. And then work your three stitches. It was right to the side of the camera and I could see it at the corner of my eye creeping up. So we're going to alternate that around. So we've got a shell, which is three stitches, an increase, a shell, an increase. And we're going to repeat that around. So it's a shell next, and then increase into the next space. So if you're not sure if you've done it right, into the chain one space in the previous round, it's a shell, and into the space, it's an increase. Repeat that around, and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. So pause the video. And I'll see you in just a moment. So just a little trick that I do, or a tip, whatever you want to call it. This is where we finish off on the previous round. I lay that to the right, and if you're left-handed, you'll lay it to the left. So you're going to lay it across there, because we're actually crocheting in there, and you'll actually crochet over that there. You will need to sew it in as well, but you've already crocheted over it a little bit. So this one is my increase, so I can crochet over that one quite a bit. So then what I suggest you do at the end of every round, and I do this with a lot of things that I make, I just look back before I cut my yarn, make sure I've done it right. And if we are good to go, which looks like it is, we can cut our yarn. If you cut your yarn, then you may see your mistake. You're going to have to join your yarn again if you need to put in more stitches, which can be a pain because you've got more ends to sew in. So first of all, we would want to join that, then cut our yarn. But, but hey, I'm going to go backwards today, do it the other way, and then finish off. You want to make sure that slip stitch is reasonable tightness there. So we've got those ones done. Next colour is, uh, I'm just looking in my bucket I've got next to me. Next colour is Shocking Pink. And out of the pinks, this is actually my favourite. Actually, all these colours that I'm using are my favourites of the certain colour. So this is my favourite pink. That's my favourite red, favourite orange and so on. So now what we're going to do, we're going to join our yarn in into the next space. And work a beginning shell if you're not changing colour, slip stitch across until you get to that space. You need to chain three and work two double crochet. And I'm just going to check my pattern to just to make sure I know what I'm doing. I need to do another shell in the next uh, this is a chain one space from the increase on the previous round. So I'm going to do a shell. And into the next space we're going to work an increase. So this round we do two shells and then an increase. So we've got two shells increase. So we want to do a shell in the next space. And then in that one, we're going to work another shell. So this is the chain one space from the previous round. And then an increase in the next space. So on this round, we're working into spaces and chain one spaces as well. So it's shell, shell, 
increase, shell shell increase. Repeat this round, pause the video, and I'll meet you when we're ready to join. So I've just slip stitched to join. I won't show you how to do that because you've already watched it three times, and I'm sure you know how to do it anyway. So it may ruffle a little bit, but that's okay because it will work out on the next couple of rounds. So now I'm pretty sure, let me just check my pattern. Yes, we are finished with our increase rounds. And that's awesome because now we don't have to think about what we're doing. Just trying to find my, there it is, my trusty tape measure. So this is approximately six inches across or about 15 centimeters. But I haven't actually made this pattern in worsted weight, but I have a feeling this might actually fit my head. We'll see when it's finished. And my head's about 58 centimeters. And normally I do need to crochet until that's 18 centimeters across. So it's a little bit short, but I think it may actually fit me. We'll see. So now grab your next color. For me, it is the medium purple. And now because we are not doing any increasing, we can actually join this in any space around or chain one space. It doesn't really matter if you don't join it in there. But if you want to keep with the pattern, we can just do what we've been doing and join it into the next space. And of course, if you're not changing color, slip stitch across. Work a beginning shell, which you already know is a chain three and two double crochets. My yarn stuck, sorry guys. Always at the most inconvenient time. And now we have a knot. Mm -hmm. Into the next space, we're going to work three double crochet. Chain one space, three double crochet. And we're just going to work this all the way around. So no more increasing, just shell, 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 shell all the way. So uh, what am I doing? <laughs> we're going to repeat this around and I'll meet you. Um, I won't meet you when we're ready to join. I'll meet you when we're up to the next round. You will notice that on this round that we've just completed that it will start to curl up. And on the next round, it will definitely start to curl up. If it's not, it means your crochet hook is too big and it's going to take a lot longer for it to start to form the sides. Um, therefore, your, your hat may be way too big. So if you're having that problem, it means that your crochet hook is too big. So what's after purple? My purple yarn looks like yarn bath. It is just all knotted up for some reason. There's not much left of it, so I think I need to wind it into a ball. Next up, most favourite colour in the world. Turquoise from Red Heart Super Saver. So let's join our yarn in. And this round, and for the amount of rounds that we need to do, it is just what we did on the previous round. So we did our starting shell. And then shell in each space around. So show in every space around and I'm just going to grab my 8 ply one or our double knit and for this one I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rounds of the shells in, in, including like starting from the beginning 13 rounds in total and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of just the shells so after our increases I've done nine rows of the shell but this is for our um, eight ply or double knit hat I may need a different amount of rounds for the worsted weight hat but in the in a moment you'll see how many I have done still haven't sewn in my ends 
in a moment you will see how many I've done and you can decide how many you need to do. So after that purple round it's now just almost 17 centimeters or six and a half inches. So I don't know if this is going to fit me, we'll find out. Anyway, enough of me babbling on. Well, what does um, Jan, Jan Carruthers say? Waffling on, I think that's what she says. <laughs> I'm doing it very well, Jan. Anyway, I will see you in just a moment when I have the sides of my hat complete. I will be stopping one, sh one, row, sh one row short of the length that I need because I will be using single crochet for the edging. So see you in just a moment. So I've finished my hat. Don't worry about the edging, I'm going to show you how to do that. And all together from the beginning I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 15 rounds. And then we followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 rounds of single crochet. Now I accidentally crocheted this last night and forgot that I hadn't actually filmed the border. So I'm about to add a video clip from one of the other hats. It is exactly the same what you would do. Um, you'll just notice that the colours will be different. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do the border. Pick anywhere you want. Pop it in there. Pull through our new colour. And if you're going to continue on with the same colour, let's say that you've joined here to us for a slip stitch you're just going to do the same thing. You're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. When we work our single crochet we don't want to work it too tight because it will make the opening of the hat smaller. Of course if you need to do that then to make it fit then you can pull it tight. If you're not able to keep a loose attention on the single crochet then I would suggest using a smaller, sorry a larger crochet hook. We're just going to single crochet, going in, pull up, yarn over, pull through. We're going to repeat this all the way around. And when we come to the spaces, you've got our space there. We're not going to work into our space, it's just into the double crochet of the previous round. So continue around and I'll meet you when we are ready to join. When we are ready to join, we're going to join into the single crochet. So go through the single crochet through both loops and join with a slip stitch. We're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. So it's just like we did on the previous round. Then we're going to single crochet in every stitch. When we come back around we join exactly the same way. If you think that you're not going to notice that that's the beginning of the round you can get a stitch marker and you can mark the first stitch and I'm actually going to do that myself because I know because I'm about to go and watch YouTube <laughs> I know I won't pay attention and I'll crochet straight in straight around and you won't even know where I've joined. So continue around and work this for as many rounds as you like. I am going to work four rounds for this and then I'm going to take a look at my hat make sure it's the right length of what I need and then we are almost finished. So pause the video and I'll meet you in just a moment. So once we have our edging done then we are going to find our yarn needle so in the ends. I love how this one's turned out. This one will actually fit me. So this is going to be my rainbow hat. So we just stitch underneath the stitches on the back of or the inside of our work. So it's the back of our work. And then skip one of the last ones there, last stitch, and go back across. And we'll need to do this with all of our yarn tiles. Um, now my scissors, where are they? Here we go. 
with the granny stitch yarn tiles look at that <laughs> what I do is I do the same thing I'll just show you on one of them and just need to repeat that for the others if you have them see how it's coming out here I skip that first stitch go under the other ones and then go back across the same way skip the first one go under the other ones I do that a few times you could even sew it up here oops I don't know if it's going to be too short now and then you could go underneath the green one and I've just gone under a blue stitch there and then I would go skip the blue stitch and go back under but my yarn's a bit short and because the camera is on I won't be able to thread it there we go and then just go backwards back through trim that off just need to do that a bit shorter so that it hides underneath the green so repeat that for all the other colors so i really hope you enjoyed that video don't worry about the top it will smooth out once it's worn um, if you've got a foam head you could also put a balloon inside and blow it up and then just smooth it over the top of the balloon and that will actually smooth out any part of the top of the hat that you're worried about because sometimes it kind of looks a bit funny I've already worn this hat so it looks not too bad so I really hope you enjoyed that video tutorial please subscribe there is two video tutorials every week we have lots of fun here on Bob Wilson 123 if you'd like to see more of my video tutorials please check out my channel by clicking on my username I also have a website links for that are in the description box if you want to know how to wash your yarn or your project that you've made we have a link in this in the description box as well again I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and until next time happy crochet